Hello and welcome to the replay. Hannah is back to work full time, so it's going to take me one second here to get everything up and running. There we go. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. Make sure you say hi when you pop on. And uh, let me know what you're up to. Hopefully you're all having a nice lunch break right now. I'm going to go ahead and share this into my VIP group. And now we are on. And I kind of wanted to wait till someone popped on because I have a couple of um, a couple of options for what we're going to do. Can you see my flaw here? I cannot type and talk at the same time. I can talk like crazy, normally to myself or whatever, but expect me to spell and talk, it's next to impossible. All right, hey TT. Thanks for jumping on and saying hi. I am going to do up this vintage frame. I got this and it had a canvas inside of it. Um, and I got it from uh, 3G, three generation. Um, and they, they find some really beautiful old things. And I decided to take the canvas out and put wood in there. And so I'm gonna chalk on wood. And then I'll seal it up so that it won't come off. So I, I'm going to, if you guys spread the love and share my live project today, I am going to draw a winner for these tags and I'm going to customize them. And I will put your name, if you're the winner, on here. So like say it says Safar's Country Home. And then these will be able to be hung up or I have this one here which is more of a French country kind of feel to it. And I will put your family's name on here for you to hang up. So all you have to do to win one of these is make sure that you share this live and then comment down in the feed shared. Hi, Hannah. So comment down below that you shared. Um, that way, if I've got people sharing off of your share, they'll still get into the, um, Hello. They'll still get into the drawing. I don't want to miss anyone. I want it to be fair. So these are what you can win and they're going to be hangable. So make sure you say hello when you jump on. And those are the two pieces that you can win. And um, I'm going to add this greenery to it. I've already prepped it up by um, wrapping white flowers. But my quandary is what to put on it. And so I'm hoping that we'll get some more people on here. I wasn't going to share this to my personal page, but I may just to um, try and get some comments on what to do. Otherwise, I'm going to just wing it. And something religious is going to end up on here because that's how I roll. But Hello. Ah, Hamity can't spell. All right, so make sure you say hi when you jump on. Make sure if you share this um, post, you comment shared. 
So you can go into the drawing for the tags here and we will put your last name on it, which will be amazing. All right, comment shared down in the newsfeed. Like I said, so that if you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, I will see your comment, your name will go into the drawing and it'll be all good. So I took the canvas out and this is a really, really old piece. And um, so I'm gonna add a sawtooth hanger on the back to hang it by because it has nothing there. I think it used to be an old mirror and then I have a couple of options for what to do on here. I love this beautiful scalloped top there. And so I thought about incorporating a design with the scallop on it. And I've got two options here. And I kind of thought about uh, do doing something like this across the top of the wood or this even has the little scallops. And so I could do something like that. So if you like the first one, comment one. I know that purple one is beautiful, TR. Um, so you could do this first, the first one is the skinny one. So say number one if you wanna see number one on there. Say number two if you wanna see number two on there. Um, I could possibly even do both. So go ahead and comment below what you would like. Hey, Misty, how are you doing, girl? And while you're deciding if you like one or two or both and commenting below, I'm gonna show you, I had kind of thought about just a welcome because it does have a hook here and you could have it by your front door for hats or whatever. But um, I also have this one here that I thought might be fun. This one says love lives here and I would do like I did on the love heart that I'd done before. I would stagger it so that it would just be love lives here. Um, or if you like this one, Tiara, I do too. Um, where did I put it? Or I can go all religious here. And this says, be joyful, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. It's from Romans 12, 12. So I could just do a scripture right there too. So do we want to say that love lives here or do we want the prayer scripture? I kind of think... Um, this would be more something people would put in their homes. But if the piece doesn't sell and I have it, I would want something like that. So this is why it's up to you for your input to let me know what you think. Um, let's see here. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll put your suggestion on there. Which idea do you love, Tiara? The love lives here staggered. This one. And then, let's see. Yeah, you'll have to tell me which idea that was because it was a little slow popping up so I didn't see it. We will go with this instead of this. So we're going with option number two. Okay, and then we'll do the love lives here. All right. Black, brown. What colors would you like to see on this? Um, I have a whole drawer here. We could even go something like that dark purple that I had done on here. There's so many options for colors. I even have a copper. I'll just pull out a few that I think would look good. And you can go ahead and tell me what you think as far as without having seen any of my colors, what options you think would be fun. I have a plain old brown, which might pull into the hook a little bit. And 
it's a very large drawer here full of stuff. I have a shimmer copper that would show up nicely on here. I can always ombre it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for purple too. So. And then I've got black. So. I could do the shimmer copper for the scalloping. And then I could uh, blend the black and brown together, um, possibly, to make that look really neat. All right, so because this is a really vintage frame and it's a little delicate, um, I'm going to stick a stack of something underneath here. So when I'm pressing with the squeegee, I'm not putting any stress on the frame. I probably should have chalked this first and then put it in, but I didn't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me assemble it. And also, I wasn't sure if you guys would be able to picture it without it in there. Let's see how many chalk couture catalogs it takes to stabilize this. Like two is the winner. Yay! All right, so we're going to go with Loveless hair and we're going to do the scallop on the top. This is a piece of plywood I had cut to size and I painted it. Um, well, first I stained the plywood to try and be this color, this wood color in here. And then I painted it and then I just took some sandpaper and sanded it off. But because of that, I am going to fuzz this up so that I'm not pulling up any of the paint I laid down. And here, when you come over tomorrow, make sure you don't forget that piece we made for you. Kind of will be sad if you leave without it. We'll try to remember too. All right. And because I am a nerd, I want to make sure it's even. I'm one of those people who would stare at it and just know something was wrong and it would bother me bother me something fierce make sure you say hello when you jump on please that way we know you're watching so many times I don't know well I just don't know who watches these things so without you commenting replay or or some kind of comment on here I feel like I'm talking to myself a lot of the time. It's not very fun. One time when we were little, my dad took us to a radio station and we were supposed to talk online, um, or I mean on air, and I couldn't do it. Like I was like, but there's nobody there. And they're like, well just say hi, there's people out there. And I was like, I can't talk to nobody. That's so weird. Now look at me. Talking to nobody all the time. So please let me know somebody's out there. I guess sometimes the little kids are pretending they're sleeping right here. So I'm probably talking to them sometimes. I have such good daycare kids. They just kind of lay there quietly until nap time's over. Allow me a little time to create, relieve some stress. When I saw this frame, I just knew I had to have it. And it actually spoke to me because she originally had in it uh, something that said, oh, good grief, I forgot. Hold on, I need to overthink this. That is 
so me. I overthink everything. I overanalyze everything. So it's literally spoke to me. All right. So here we go. I have this beautiful shimmer copper in here. And when this dries up, you're really going to see the glitter pop in it. And I can sand it up a little bit before I seal it and kind of make it look a little old too. And once again, fuzzing this up so that I don't pull up any of the paint I laid down on that plywood. Like I said, if you love vintage looking pieces like this, uh, I think they call themselves 3G or G3, I, I keep forgetting, but I think it's 3G for third generation. And they have some adorable stuff. I'm actually gonna dry this real quick. I'm worried that that'll be a little wet if I touch it, so. I'm just gonna move up here closer to you guys. Hello, Miss Abby, how are you? The shimmer paste sometimes takes a little longer to dry. The other stuff seems to dry right away. And then I wanna make sure this is not hot before I lay it back down again. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do love here and I'm gonna cut it off here um, because I don't want to accidentally get any of that L in here and then you're gonna see me grab painters tape and block that part off when I come back to do the other section all right so this is bark the color bark and as you can see the chalk separates it's kind of liquidy You do want to mix it up. And now it's just creamy. And then the same thing with the black. The black's a little thicker. I noticed that with the pigments that they use, it really changes the texture of the chalks. But as long as you mix them till they're creamy, you're good to go. And then back here I have um, water. You normally don't see that on camera. It's usually off to the other side, but here we go. I'm going to mix, oops. I'm gonna mix a little black and a little brown to kind of give it an aged look. This does not want to stick to that. this around and then I'll grab some of it and blend it and hopefully it'll give it kind of that dirty look that we have here on the edge So what are you doing with your day today, Tiara? Just enjoying a nice night. I thought you would be sleeping, actually. Catching up on some rest from your night shift. So I'm gonna lift this up real quick and show you. Hopefully you can see it pretty well there. This uh, computer is so far behind, I can't tell if you can see it or not yet. There you go. A little brown and a little black in there. And I'm just going to move this right here. So 
I'm going to do the here next. And hopefully it'll be centered. There we go. All right, once again, a little brown, a little black, which I've got on here, so I'm just going to use that. And then I'm going to blend it. And then I'll just pull it through with the squeegee, make sure I get it all off of there. are. And I'm going to grab that painter's tape for the last part here. I want to block off where I don't want it to go through. Get it off my finger too. It'd be bad if I accidentally put it down anywhere else. Back to room temperature. Doesn't take long, does it? All right, and so what I'm gonna do here is just put tape right here and there, just like I told you. And this stuff peels back off your transfer really well. You know, painter's tape, it's so forgiving and so awesome. I use this all the time. In fact, I used it on that purple piece you see there that you can win. There you go. Voila. Easy to do. A little more brown. A little black. And then just blending it with my finger nice and easy. You don't want to push and wiggle too hard. You don't want to start shifting your transfer. Um, the reason I scrape off the extra like that is I want to make sure it pushes the rest of the way through that silk screen to make sure we get a nice, clean, non-bumpy line. I'll throw that in there. All right. So I got a teeny bit of something right there. Not sure what it is. But I'm just going to use distilled water and a Q-tip. It gets this wet and then I just roll it right off. Boom, gone. A little brown that oozed out there. Same thing. Really easy to remove. All right. What do you think? You want to see anything else on here? Does that look good? One of the fun things you can do with this frame is, um, since it does say love lives here, you can take, let me show you this. I made this one for my brother's wedding. It's for all the people who passed away. There's just a cord of jute here and some clips. So you could actually run a little cord across and clip family photos here if you wanted to, or, um, you know, the little wall wallets or whatever on here. You do it on top and bottom or just in one spot. But there you go. I'm going to go ahead and grab some sandpaper here and rough that up a little bit to give that copper a little bit more aged look. First, let me shut these so they don't dry out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm just 
taken and lightly going through and just scratching up a little bit to give it a little more imperfect look, especially where I had already sanded. Oops. I don't want it to look too perfect through there. I want it to look like it wore away as well. blowing on it's probably the wrong thing to be doing. We'll quarantine this on. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal this. And it's actually going to give this a nice look kind of like this piece here where it's got that little bit of shine to the um, paint. So there we go. There is my completed project done in a matter of a few minutes. I don't know how long I've been live. It doesn't say, but there we are completed. It's going to have photos in it, hang it by the entryway with the hook and hang stuff on it. But I'll be attaching a sawtooth hanger to the back. And thanks for joining you guys. And remember, if you share this live, you will win one of these two. You'll go on a drawing to win one of these two. Um, these tags will have your last name put on it so you could hang them in your home. And uh, I appreciate you guys and happy chalking.